Hello, this is my bathroom and I'm going to show you this the shower ring I just put up. Take a look in my bathroom here. I don't wanna... There's my sink from 1925. Of course the faucets are newer. Shows you how old this place is. There's the clawfoot tub which all these years didn't have a uh, shower. Now the bottom, the porcelain's getting thin on the bottom, but it's good on the sides and all. That's a new toilet. That's a chair height toilet. Nice toilet. Anyhow, show you this. Comes with the faucet. And uh this pipe connects on the back of the faucet and runs up here. Gets connected there to the uh shower. Now this is what they call a D-shaped ring and it mounts on the wall. But now where this comes and uh, this comes, the relationship to the tub in the room doesn't necessarily favor being screwed into studs in the wall. So I got this board. It's like a uh, one by four, three quarter by four, one by four, I think it is, pine. And I, I had some long rubber bands. If you don't have long rubber bands, I mean real long, they were like a foot long and I linked a couple together. If you don't have that, you can use string or masking tape. And I, I held the whole ring together with the rubber bands while I uh, screwed it onto the board. The screws protrude a whisker through the back of the board, but they when you secure it to the wall, that'll just press into the drywall. My problem with this whole setup is I'm six foot four inches tall. I go up to about there, an inch under the shower head. So it would have been nice if the, I got to duck my head down a little bit, but I might get a little, a little like a six inch piece of pipe adapter, six or nine inches and put it in here, but it has to have another one of these nuts on there to extend the shower up. Then I really wish the, the D ring was higher. I was going by the D ring by how high the shower is now see this is what I wanted to show you this is a good uh, a good width because if I want to sit down in the tub and take a bath the shower curtain gets all the way out of my way where it's at so I'm very happy with that but I'll show you I put the shower curtain into the tub That's a 70 inch shower curtain and it's like barely hitting bottom and hitting bottom. But I might put another little ring like right in the middle of this holding this up a little bit. But I wish, I think uh, another like uh, I don't no big rush but when I get a pipe to extend the shower head height up a little bit. I'm going to raise the whole shower curtain up a notch. Like I'll take the board and I'll mount it about where the like where the top of that board is will be where the bottom of the board is but I don't know. I just wish the shower curtain was about two inches off the bottom of the tub I think. But it's alright. Now I got instead of using the metal rod that they gave you I just went to Lowe's and bought an eyelet screw and found a stud in the ceiling and I hooked it through that thing they gave you. I tied it, I tied it through the uh, thing 
and I got some 40 wa 40 pound uh, I guess it's called picture frame hanging wire or something from Lowe's too it's a little bit on an angle but it's actually pulling it but uh there's where you had to it's a it's a nice I'm surprised at how nice this is really it's quarter turn ceramic discs or half turn or whatever but uh I don't have it up the center in the beginning before I hung that I just had a piece of fishing wire wrapped around there and hooked up to the light up there and uh, if it's in the middle I find it's too much of a fight to have the water not going through and getting on the floor. But this was the idea, you, you basically have to get the pipe going straight up from the floor, straight up from the faucet, and then connect it and uh, find where... Uh